The AccuSlice system was developed to provide a safer method of cutting veneers and thin slices of wood on the bandsaw, and to enable the slicing of wood to an exact and reproducible thickness with no burn marks or blade drift. This is an example of a number of boards cut in the AccuSlice systems. Each of these boards is about one and three quarter inches wide, about 30 inches long. They vary in thickness between uh, 25 thousandths and an eighth of an inch thick. And this is all different woods from uh, maple, walnut, uh, paduk, yellow heart, uh, all different densities of wood, different hardnesses, uh, cut on the bandsaw with no additional sanding other than getting rid of the fuzzies on the bottom edge. And then these get glued together to produce this laminated board, which will become a dizzy bowl project. This is a number of projects made with the AccuSlice system. This is some cherry boards that were about eight inches wide, uh, and we cut these using the AccuSlice system. Uh, this one's about uh, two foot long. We have one here about five foot long. We have actually cut boards up to 12 inches wide and up to 54 inches long on the AccuSlice system. And what makes this unique is these slices of wood cut off are perfectly straight, perfectly parallel. When I mic this, it's within two thousandths of an inch, edge to edge, top to bottom. They're right on. And there's no excessive, you know, bandsaw blade marks, no burn marks. These boards don't need to be run through a joint or a planter to get them flat. They're perfectly good. They can actually be glued up uh, as a veneer surface on, on some furniture. Normally you slice wood on the bandsaw. You guide the board against the bandsaw fence. You're pushing the board against the fence, at the same time pushing it through the bandsaw blade. This can be quite dangerous since your fingers and hands are quite close to the bandsaw blade. In addition, it's quite hard to cut perfectly straight boards with no blade or burn marks from the bandsaw blade. The bandsaw table and fence may be too small, or the board may be too large or too long, or the board may not be perfectly flat. Any of these issues will result in movement of the wood and as a result, you get bandsaw blade drift and burn marks and uneven cuts in your board. Any change in pressure against the fence, repositioning your hands, and even shifting body weight will result in movement of the wood. And this will result in uh, bandsaw blade marks and bandsaw blade drift. Tip when you cut boards in this manner, you need to pass the boards through a thickness planer or board sander to get the boards straight and to remove the bandsaw blade marks. These problems all go away with the AccuSlice system. The AccuSlice system mounts on the bandsaw by locking it to the miter bar slot on the bandsaw tabletop. With the AccuSlice system, the board to be cut is attached to a sliding carriage with has, which has roller bearings on its base. These roller bearings ride on this linear rail on the AccuSlice system. Various methods are used to attach the wood to this carriage, including double-sided tape, clamps, screws, or even glue. And we'll show these uh, applications in an additional video. This carriage then rides on this linear rail on these uh, ball bearings and you have nice, clean, smooth, even movement of this wood through your bandsaw blade. The only movement of the wood is through the bandsaw blade. There's no lateral movement of the wood. This lack of any lateral movement of the wood is the reason there's no bandsaw blade drift, heavy bandsaw blade marks or burn marks on your boards with the AccuSlice system. The resulting cuts are cleaner and smoother. There are no burn marks on the surface of the wood, and the cut slices of the wood are perfectly straight and perfectly parallel, top to bottom and edge to edge. There's no need to run these boards through a thickness planer or board sander to get them flat and smooth. The finish is suitable for gluing or mobile boards together. The only sanding that may be required is at the bottom edge where the blade cuts through, you might get a small fuzzy, you need to sand it off. At the very end where the board kicks out, you get a small burr on the edge of the board. And this is easily moved with a sandpaper or a chisel. In addition, we've added a micro-adjusting index wheel to the AccuSlice system that enables you to dial in the exact thickness of the board you want to cut. This indexing wheel is graduated in thousands of an inch and numerically marked every five thousandths of an inch. Each full revolution of the index wheel is fifty thousandths of an inch. This enables the accurate cutting of thin slices of wood to an exact thickness with repeatable cuts on subsequent board slices. The repeatable cutting of boards is accurate to within two thousandths of an inch. There are three requirements for your bandsaw in order for the AccuSlice system to operate. 
First of all, the bandsaw table must be at least 14 inches wide, but less than 24 and a half inches wide. That's dimension left to right on the front of the bandsaw table. Next, the bandsaw table must be made of iron in order for magnetic mag clamps to clamp to the table. Finally, the miter bar slot must be a three quarter inch wide miter bar slot. There's a bandsaw cross-reference table on a website that can help you determine the model of AccuSize system that will fit your make and model of bandsaw. There are three components that comprise the AccuSlice system. The index table with the mag jig clamps and indexing wheel, a rail, and a carriage. You must purchase all three components to build a complete AccuSlice system. The heart of the AccuSlice system is the index table, which also includes the indexing wheel and the two mag jig clamps. There are three different sizes of the AccuSlice table to, to fit various sized bandsaw tables from 14 inches wide up to 24 inches wide. The AccuSlice uh, index table mounts into the bandsaw blade by inserting this miter bar into the miter bar slot on the bandsaw and then locking it in place with three quarter turn offset cam screws. The index wheel enables you to dial in the exact thickness of the wood you want to cut. The two mag jig clamps are used to clamp the index table to the bandsaw table to minimize vibration and provide for smooth cuts. The second component of the AccuSlice system is a linear rail, which attaches to the index table with three hex head screws. There are five lengths of the rails, ranging from three foot long up to eight foot long, depending on your application. The third component of the AccuSlice system is the L-bracket carriage. We currently have two sizes of the L-bracket carriage. This is the 12 inch long carriage. We also have a 24 inch long carriage. On the base of the L-bracket carriage are a series of ball bearing rollers. They contain stainless steel or ball bearings with polycarbonate sleeves and each ride effortlessly on this linear rail on the AccuSlice system and permit the smooth travel of the wood through your bandsaw blade. The carriage is attached to the linear rail by just sliding these ball bearings onto the edges of the linear rail. Next, the wood is attached to the carriage. The wood attached to the sliding carriage permits a smooth and precise travel of the wood to be cut through the bandsaw blade with no lateral movement of the wood. Again, this provides for smooth, clean cuts with the AccuSlice system with no bandsaw blade drift, minimal saw marks, and no burn marks on even surfaces on your cut board. The next video in this series will describe how to order the AccuSlice system. Additional videos will describe the installation and operation of the AccuSlice system and the various accessories that are available for the AccuSlice system, including the Accu Wedge for producing segmented wedges, the Accu Slot for producing Celtic ring patterns, and the Accu Sled for other applications uh, for the AccuSlice system. There's also a number of other videos on our website describing uh, projects we've made over the years uh, using the AccuSlice system. Again, if you have any additional questions or concerns, Please give us a call and thank you for watching.